Okay, I'm just checking one of my students' uh, answers. So this is week two. Um, week two, lesson one. So I spend my free time watching movies. I like to watch Korean dramas. I like to dance. I like to cook with my family. I joined with my siblings. I joined my siblings watching anime. Uh, remove with. I'm good at dancing, I'm good at cooking, I'm good at playing with babies, I can stop I can stop them from crying. Okay, um, what else? When I was younger, I wanted to be a... When I was in grade school, I wanted to be a teacher, so... Um, Um, I'm just gonna make some changes and then I'll explain it in a little bit. So, um,
Okay, so I'm done making the changes. So, week two, lesson one, I joined my siblings watching anime. I like to watch Korean drama, I uh, like to dance, I wanted to be a teacher when I was in grade school. I wanted to be like, uh, okay, so, okay, when I was younger, I wanted to be a teacher in grade school, uh, sorry. When I, I, want, I wanted to be a teacher when I was in grade school, I wanted to be like my aunt. So, you know, like my auntie, my father's side, doesn't matter, remove that. Nobody cares. Yeah, so you don't really want to put, you don't need to put those details in. Um, my mother said that I should be like my aunt. My mother said that I should be like my aunt. Um, and then... Oh, should be a teacher. My mother said that I should be a teacher like my aunt. <coughs> my goals for the future changed because of the movies and TV shows that I saw. While growing up, I wanted to become a singer at this time. So, ito, uh, problem to kasi, yeah, I, should al I should also be a teacher like my auntie. Um, but, when, uh, but when I was often able to watch TV or movies. So, parang ang nangyayari, sinisisi mo yung, ano, sinisisi mo yung TV and movies. Kaya nagbago-bago yung word mo, what I wanted to change. Um, mali yung sentence na to, because of the grammar. I don't remember the exact word, pero just reading it aloud tells me na mali-mali yung grammar niya. So, I just went ahead and wrote, my goals for the future changed because of the movies and TV shows that I saw while growing up. I wanted to become a singer at a time. So, yeah, there's time I wanted to be a singer. Um, okay lang, pero hindi maganda. So, I changed it. I wanted to become a singer at the time. I also wanted to become an actor or a dancer. I also wanted to, uh, I also aspired to become a chef or a nurse. I wanted, ito, ito kasi, to, ang laki ng problema ko dito, to become an actor or a dancer, to become a, sh a chef or a nurse, hindi na to complete sentence. So, mali ito. Maling mali. So, I had to rewrite that. Ito yung dinagay ko. I wanted to become a flight attendant. My goals changed when I graduated from high school. I didn't know what career I wanted during high school. Um, so, yun. Kasi parang ito, incomplete ko lalo until I graduated high school. O ano naman? What's, what's the point of this part? So, pinagiwalay mo siya and hindi siya, ano, hindi siya maayos, hindi siya kompleto. I still don't know what I really want to become. Then my parents asked me if I wanted to go to college. So, inano ko, um, tanggalin mo yung then, kasi it doesn't matter. My parents asked me if I wanted to go to college. I said yes. They asked what course I would like to take. I said I don't know yet. Then I asked my friend what course she would take. She said business management. Um, okay. Some, ano, uh, continuity lang dun sa sentences mo. So, I asked my friend what course she would take in college. So, tinanggalin yung then. My friend said she's studying business management. So, yun. She said business management. Sobrang shortcut na itong sentence na to. Kailangan kompletuhin mo. My friend said she's studying business management. I don't want to be alone in college. Remove mo yung ano. Kasi pag, yung because I don't want to be in college, ano yung ano? hindi siya hindi independent yung sentence mo kailangan connected siya sa ibang sentence so ginawa ko remove because um, just to be with her even though I didn't like my course so okay bad idea parang ano parang napakasagwa ng decision making mo ng bata ka I took the same course that my friend took 
So yeah, that, that's also the course I took. Tinalpan ko na, I took the same course that my friend took. Tapos, I joined my friend even if I didn't really like my course. So, yun, sabi mo, just to be with her though, I didn't like my course. Mali itong composition na to. I had to finish it. Ano yung it? Tinalpan mo, I had to finish the course for my family. To, to be able to give them, ito, incomplete sentence na naman, to be able to give them a stable life. I worked hard because I wanted to give my family a stable life. So, yun yung week, one, week two, lesson one. So, ano, for grammar corrections, saka counting comments. Pause lang ako, palpan ko, to week one, sorry, week two, lesson two. Okay, so I made some changes here. Um, week 2, lesson 2, the correction and the notes are capitalized. I pressed pause, that's why I didn't have the, uh, it, it didn't type the answers real time. So we said here, I also, I, I changed it. So I also like Filipino food because your original one is and incomplete sentence. You also, a Korean food, mali. It's incomplete. So I wrote another one. And then, what kind of shows do you watch? Sabi mo, it's a Korean show, Running Man, incomplete sentence. So I like a Korean show called Running Man. So that's the proper one. And then, um, so yung it's, so do not overuse it's. Running Man is an entertaining show. What kind of, um, what's your favorite TV show? I like watching Keeping Up with the Predations. Um, I also like watching Tonight with Jimmy Callen. So, so incomplete sentence to. What kind of movies do you like? I like romance, drama, and action movies. What's your favorite movie? I have a lot of favorite movies, but there's a movie I read where you watch a lot, Twilight Saga. Wrong. So you have this thing. So I have a lot of favorite movies. You should give more examples. Um, who's your favorite actor? I have a lot of favorite actors and actresses. One of them is Millie, uh, Billy, whatever, Brown, um, also Chris Evans. So, um, my favorite actors are Millie Brown, Millie Bobby Brown, and Chris Evans. So, ayusin mo na lang na ganun. Tapos, what kind of music do you listen to? I like sad music and love songs. What are your favorite songs? What are your favorite songs? I have a lot of favorite songs. One of them is whatever by whatever. Um, you have this thing. You have a lot of favorite whatever. And you just give one example. So, if you're going to open with, I have a lot of favorites, you should give more examples. Because it doesn't make sense. You're going to say, I have a lot, and then I'm going to give one. So, you should have just said one if you only have one, if you're only going to say one. Who's your favorite band? Uh, my favorite singer is Mariah Carey, okay? My favorite... My favorite girl group is Blackpink. Your original is an incomplete sentence. Girl group is Blackpink. Like, you have to write a complete sentence. So, paulit ulit tayo. Ever since session one, it has to be a complete sentence. Nung session two, it's a complete sentence. Session three, incomplete na naman yung sentence. So, you know, you have to fix that. You have to fix that. This is this is like the most important thing. If you keep answering, about what's your name, Kevin? Where do you live? Paranaque. What's your old job? Sales. What's your favorite food? Ramen. Like, no, you do not give one word answers. My name is Kevin. I live in Paranaque. I used to work in sales. My favorite food is ramen. Complete sentences. That's how it is. You know, I wrote 
my examples at the beginning of the session because I wanted you to learn the format of how to answer. So, you know, you have to stop this bad habit of single sentence or answer, uh, no, sorry, of single word answers or answering with phrases or incomplete sentence uh, with it or incomplete sentences. So, yeah, so I, I made some changes here. So just, uh, I'll send this to you via email so you can just review it, uh, watch this video multiple times. So you can figure out like what's wrong, what's wrong with your English? Why are you getting rejected? This is the reason. Okay, so I'm going to the next one. So we are at week two, lesson three. I'll just go like this. My dream job. Pinakakainis eh, pinutol-putol mo yung ano, pinutol-putol mo yung sentence, so puro phrase lang ito. Malaming mali. Kasi nakakapigod siya, promise. So, flight attendants. Google mo nga kung ano yung meaning ng sentence, definition ng sentence, para alam mo. Kasi parang nakalimutan mo dito eh.
yun, um, when it comes to this part, for incomplete sentence, so I had to rewrite the whole thing and just change what he did from an incomplete sentence to a complete sentence. So what kind of person do I need to be? Um, Teka lang, sabi mo kanina, Airlines required job applicants to have taken college. Tapos sabi mo high school diploma. So malik. Alin dito yung totoo? Okay, so, yun, same, same problem as, ano, same problem as week 1, lesson 1, and week 1, lesson 2. So, paulit-ulit tayo, puro yung complete sentences yung problem. So, gaya nga nung sinabi ko sa'yo nung nagreklamo ako the first time, parang hinati mo lang sa isa yung, parang hinati mo yung isang sentence into its own, na hindi mo siya rinere-write, parang pinutol mo lang siya sa gitna. You know, of the passengers period, especially to those with special needs period. Tapos hindi mo man lang chinik kung tama yung grammar, hindi mo siya binasa ng malakas. Kasi kung binasa mo ng malakas, alam mo to. Eh, you know, tapos kita mo pa yung small letter na especially to those with special needs. I mean, come on. Come on, week 3 ka na eh. 
Tapos, dahil ko pa rin yung errors. Um, so, yun. I-email ko sa itong mga, ano, mga corrections. Papadala ko rin ito sa, iyo, sa itong video na to. Tapos, yun. Yun, yun lang. Ayusin mo. Ayusin mo lahat. Nang week to, follow mo yung, ano, kailangan complete sentences. Kailangan, if you're gonna shorten your sentences, shorten your sentences properly. Dapat complete the sentence. Diba? Ipisitan mo kung mabuti. Dito nakabase yung future mo. Hindi pwede mo yung gawa ka lang ng gawa para matapos na, para may may pasa ka lang. Diba? Kasi, hindi naman ako yung nawawalan eh. Ikaw. Ikaw yung nawawalan. So, kailangan ayusin mo to. Okay? So, hanggang dito na lang muna. And, sorry. <laughs> Uminan talaga ulo ko dito sa ano sa mga gantong errors kasi ang tagal nating nag-spend ng time dito during session 1 and yun I, I, I really thought na pumasok na sa isip mo nung sinabi ko sa'yo nung session 1 tapos yung tinawagang kita nung session 3 um hindi so hindi tayo hindi tayo makaka hindi tayo makakalusot dito sa stage na to until makompleto mo yung part na ano, na incomplete sentence saka your answers need to be consistent. So, ayusin mo lang. Ayusin mo lang. Gawin mo lang to. Follow mo yung guide na ginawa ko. Tignan mo mabuti kung paano ko siya ginagawa. Panoorin mo tong video na to multiple times. Tapos, yun, tuloy natin. Anyway, thanks. And, um, yeah. Comment ka kung